Brothers and sisters in Christ, you have power over the devil. You have power over principalities, over powers, and over rulers. You have power over demonic spirits. They have no power over you. You have the advantage over them. You don't fight for victory. You fight from a position of victory. The Bible says in Luke 10, 19, Jesus says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing by any means shall harm you. God says that he has given you spiritual authority. What is spiritual authority? Spiritual authority is the God-given right to receive and use God's power that flows from the indwelling Holy Spirit. You have what is called authority. Think about authority this way. When a policeman stands and directs traffic, as they put up a hand, cars will stop. But the cars do not stop because of the policeman's power, because the cars have the power to run over the policeman. They stop because of the policeman's legal authority. The blue uniform makes him Superman. He can't put out his hand and physically stop a line of cars from running over him. But when he puts out his hand, cars stop because the blue uniform with the badge gives him legal authority. That legal authority does what personal power can't do. He the police officer doesn't have the power to stop traffic, but he has the authority to stop traffic. The officer is backed up by a department that backs him up. See, you don't have physical power to stop the devil, but you have spiritual authority to stop him because you have the truth living on the inside of you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This is the reason life and death is in the power of your tongue. You can decree a thing and it shall come to pass because there is truth living on the inside of you. What you need is faith. Believe God. Believe his word. And remember that you have the victory and you fight from a position of victory. What does it mean to fight from a position of victory? Here's what it means. Now, as we all know, wrestling or WWE is entertaining. The wrestlers and the officials, they already know who's going to win the fight. They already know it's already pre-planned who's going to win the wrestling match. So the wrestler who knows he's going to win, he don't fight for victory. He fights from a position of victory because he already knows that he's going to win. This is the mindset of a believer who has spiritual authority. You don't fight for victory. You fight from a position of victory because God has already given you the victory before the battle is even won. This is why the word declares that God works all things together for the good. He works it all together for the good and for his glory. You are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. And you will win. You will overcome because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Exercise and use your spiritual authority. Rebuke the devil. Cast him out. Speak truth in your life and the devil will flee because you have authority. Let's pray. 
Oh, precious and heavenly Father, I bow before your throne, thankful that you've given me power to trample upon the enemy and every ungodly thing that comes against me. Today, I call forth blessings on my life and on my children's life. I decree and declare the blessings of God over every plan and goal for me, for my children, and for my ministry this year. I call forth all of my treasures that the enemy has stolen, and I receive them in this very year of restoration in the name of Jesus. I call forth the blessings of the Lord over my life and over all of my projects this year. There shall be no abandoned projects, time and life wasting projects on my way this year in the name of Jesus. I call forth the anointing for creativity in all of my business and my ministry to fall on me powerfully in the name of Jesus. I declare abundance by faith that Jesus will supply all of my needs spiritually, financially, physically, and emotionally throughout this year in the name of Jesus. I declare that every aspect of my life will yield abundant fruit in the name of Jesus. I declare that I shall be a blessing to the people of God and the work of God in the name of Jesus. I declare that God will enrich my life with the abundance of his joy. I declare that God will shower me with such an abundance of his favor that even the enemy will have to acknowledge it in Jesus' name. I declare that I shall be blessed with supernatural abundance that will bless generations to come in Jesus' name. I declare that the power, glory, and the kingdom of the living God will come upon every aspect of my life. I pray that throughout this year, I shall enjoy the favor of God's covenant. And I declare over my body that by Jesus' stripes, I've already been healed. I declare my body to be strong, and I pray that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And I pray that every agent of infirmity must loose its hold over my life, over my spouse, and over my children in the name of Jesus. I come against any sickness or disease that the enemy may want to use to stop my destiny in the name of Jesus. I pray against every genetic disease that has ruled my family for generations. I come against every form of torment, whether physical or spiritual, in the name of Jesus. I pray that the anointing of God will flow from my life today to bring healing, deliverance, and hope to others in the name of Jesus. I pray that throughout this year, every member of my household will receive the healing of the Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus against Satan, and I declare that I have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of Jesus against every deadly pestilence, against the terrors of the night, and I confess by faith that the angel of death has passed over my house. I come against every smiting disease and attack against my family. I plead the blood of Jesus against any mental, spiritual, and physical imprisonment in the name of Jesus, I declare the freedom of the Lord, that we are free in our mind, souls, and spirits. We are free to worship, free to praise, free to witness, free to minister, free to read the word. We are free to receive the word. I prophesy that this year will be the year of joy in my life. I rebuke all heaviness and sorrow in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over my spirit God's protection and grace will abound in me this year. That everything that stood against me in the previous year shall come down in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and I reject and I cast out the cycle that it is broken. And I am free in Jesus Christ. For whoever the Son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus' name, I declare these things by faith that it is already done. Amen. Thanks for listening to Daily Warfare Prayers. If you would like these prayers in a book, go to my website, subscribe to the monthly prayer book of the month, and I will mail you a prayer book every month. This is a great way to support this prayer ministry 
and it helps us take this all around the world and minister to many people who need healing and deliverance through the form of prayer. So go to warfareprayers.org, support the channel, subscribe to my monthly prayer book, and I will bless you with these prayers every month. God bless you, and God bless your day.